I'm interested. I didn't like the word tomato pie, but if there's cheese and mayonnaise involved. All right, everybody, welcome to day six of September pies. If you're new around here, we decided to make a pie every day in September. If you watched yesterday's video, which was a delicious lemon meringue pie, I was wearing the exact same outfit, so was Jude, so was everybody else. Do you ever have deja vu, Mrs. Lancaster? I don't think so, but I could check with the kitchen. And that's because it's the same day. I want to make 30 pies. I want to have a video every day in September, but I also don't want to work on Sundays. We take that as a day of rest and a break. And even though I bake on Sundays, I could make a pie on Sundays. Videoing that pie and all of that stuff is not the same as just, it's, a, it's work. But what are we making today? A tomato pie. And why are you excited about that? Uh, because I love tomatoes. Jude loves tomatoes. Like we have to tell him to slow down on the tomatoes sometimes. Well, I kind of wish I knew about tomato pie when our garden was producing tons of tomatoes, but it's pretty much come to an end. There might be a few stragglers out there. So I had to go to the store to buy tomatoes, but that's okay. Next summer we'll be making tons of tomato pie. When one of you suggested tomato pie first time, I was like, that. I imagined like a sweet tomato pie. I don't know why. I guess it's because we always think pies are sweet, but I thought that sounded slightly gross, but then I looked it up and it's just like layered tomatoes, cheese, spices, mayonnaise. Mayonnaise. <laughs> Yummy. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a crust. I'm actually gonna make several and put um, some of them away. Okay, so today I'm gonna make just a classic flaky pie crust made with um, just like butter and shortening in my food processor it's really really simple if you have a food processor if you have a pastry cutter that kind of look like brass knuckles except it goes out like that anyways you can do it that way um the main thing is you want to keep your butter and your shortening cold i'm using butter flavored crisco and don't over mix it because you actually want little bits of the fat to stay together so that when they melt it it makes the crust flaky make them a buttery uh crispy crust Dang, cool? flaky. So I'm gonna go ahead and make four crusts so that I have more for tomorrow and the next day. This is really the same recipe that's all over the place online. One thing I am gonna do that I saw on Pinterest is add a tablespoon or two of vinegar because they say it makes the dough easier to work with. I don't remember why, I'm gonna try it, we'll see. Okay, let's get started.
right, these are the ingredients for filling a tomato pie. A load of tomatoes, they aren't mine like I said, but they are from a local farm and they smell real fresh. A load of basil from the garden, sharp cheddar, mozzarella, and some high quality mayonnaise. <laughs> pies were done but it turns out there's only like four kids here look at this <laughs> esther's at work elijah's at work daniel went to a church activity and peter and asher are at friends houses he get home yeah so we're gonna cut into this thing and eat it with some salad for dinner dinner pie sweet not sweet Savory. this time let's see it's been cooling for about 20 30 minutes okay does somebody want to grab their plate? Grab a plate. I imagine you could make this with canned tomatoes. Just drain them. Whoa. Jude, our tomato man, he totally forgot he was going to make it with me, but then he got enthralled with some, uh, Daniel gave him some uh, magic, cards. magic cards he was looking oh. for. It smells so good. Like the basil and the tomatoes. Mm. Eve's gonna try it. Eve's not so sure. Oh my god. You don't know? It's like kind of like pizza. This is dinner, or lasagna. Though, Eve. You know lasagna? Yeah. It's like lasagna, but yeah. maybe it's better. Okay, who's gonna try it first? Me! Mm. Really good. What do you think, Pearl? It's super good. Pearl loves it. I like the basil on it. Mmm. Cheese and the tomatoes. Mainly the tomatoes. Jude's a tomato fan. Have we already said that? Yeah. It looks hot though. It tastes like pizza. <laughs> it's really good. Mm -hmm. That was awesome. It's really it good. Basil is like rice. That's surprisingly good actually. I mean, I thought it'd be good. But I, really I expected good. this to be disgusting and it's not. <laughs> <laughs> That's really flavorful. Good hot. job, Mom. Thanks. I think this is, this mm. is a win. Mm -hmm. We just need about five more people here to eat dinner <laughs> to appreciate it. So flavorful, so cheesy. That basil's amazing. It's mm. kind of buttery tasting, right? Yeah, well, no, there's tons of mayonnaise. Oh, well, that's it. Mm. Little known fact, or maybe it's actually well known, that if you're eating pie directly out of the pie pan, it's there are no calories. Bad. It's not bad for you? It doesn't count. Oh, that's true. 
So you did a good job, Megan. Thank you all I for recommending. I wasn't here for it. Oh. I wasn't here for any of the making of it. Megan did a Very good job. Very domestic, Dave. Um, thank you all for recommending tomato pie. I really had never heard of it, but this is gonna be like in the lineup of our meals now, because it was so good. And it really wasn't that hard. So thank you for coming back again, and don't forget to come back tomorrow for another pie. See ya. Bye.